Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a mask and chat slash follow me around today. So let's see what we can get into today. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing the BB Seaweed by Lush. Um, this is a fresh mask, so there's no preservatives in it. So it expires at the end of this week, so I gotta use it. So I'm just in the bathroom and I'm going to put this on all over my face. Um, I don't really like the scent of this at all. And of course, I'm the PJ queen, so I got PJs on. Don't mind me. So this is what it looks like inside the pot. Um, it has bits of seaweed. Uh, I forgot what else is in here. Um, lime tree flower, sweet violet leaf, the cottas, I don't know, uh, Kaylin clay, honey, glycerin, ground almonds, bladder whack seaweed, organic aloe vera gel, mullet flakes, organic virgin, extra virgin olive oil, um, bentonite gel, fresh rose petals, mm, rose absolute and patchouli, patchouli oil, rosemary oil, seaweed absolute, uh, and some fragrance and some things I can't pronounce. 100% natural vegetarian. Um, so yeah. So it's like this light kind of muted gray, like a really light gray. Um, it has the bits of seaweed and like little chunks in it. So just put this on everywhere. And it's freezing cold because it's in the fridge. You have to keep it in the fridge. You can't leave it out. That's the only thing with this. This was $7.95. Ooh, and it's cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. As you can tell, it has bits of seaweed in it. Um, I don't like the smell of this very much. It's... Um... Uh, it's like more of a, to me it's more of a manly smell like a little bit of cologne type scent um it's very earthy organic smell though um but like i said it does smell kind of manly my son is taking a nap because he all got like definitely on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I mean, he woke up crying and screaming and like if he was in pain. Um, and I gave him a bottle of milk and he threw up his milk, but it was like a cottage, like not even cottage cheese, like mozzarella type thickness. Like it was thick. And of course his playpen stinks and everything. So uh, I had to take him a bath. Um, I checked his temperature and he was a hundred, so I gave him a little bit of Tylenol. I gave him half a dose of Tylenol, not a full dose because he wasn't running a really high fever. Um, so yeah, right now he's taking a nap and I was like, I need to use this mask before it gets old on me and I can't use it. And then that's $8 down the drain. Um, and I still got quite a bit to <laughs> I got like half a jar to go and it expired on Monday. So yeah, I have a week. A little less than a week, but I have a week to do this. Um, so I'm going to take it with me. I'm going to have my brother try it and I'm going to probably put it on my mom's face because I'm probably going to go up that way for Mother's Day. Um, So yeah, just avoiding like inside your eyes and stuff. Make sure it gets on your nose. Put a pretty thick layer. Um, not too thin, not too thick, but um, yeah. This dries down, but it's not like really rough dry. Like it doesn't dry it down to the point where it's like your face is cracking with it. Oh, I need to move that piece of seaweed. I can't. I can't. 
I can't do with the little seaweed pieces next to my nose. It's just, no, no. So yeah, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll put it on my face. So I got you guys following me. My shower curtain rod fell. So don't mind it. And we're in the dark. Get my glasses and put this back. Let's see, check on baby. sleep in his room in his crib I thank God every day that we were able to buy this house and he has his own room he has his own crib I'm so thankful to his uncle and his aunt from my husband's side of the family who actually gave us the money to buy his crib and he has his own crib and everything so I thank God every day for my little house here so I'm doing laundry I do laundry all day every day all day every day yeah <sighs> so that's what I've been doing all morning um, besides watching him and making sure that he feels okay and it's not running a high fever or anything but other than that I'm doing laundry so I was like let me do a face mask and chat with you guys so yeah um the other day was like almost a hundred degrees outside it was like 95 degrees outside and that's when he started with his little fever and feeling sick and stuff, which I think was not yesterday, but the day before. And yesterday he didn't, he didn't feel bad. He didn't have a fever or anything. Um, so I, you know, I checked his temperature to make sure he didn't have a fever and, you know, he felt fine. Um, he was normal temperature. Um, but it was like this morning he was just not having it this morning he didn't want to get up he didn't want to go back to bed he was just constantly just whining and i'm like uh, -uh come on we got to do something with you so i gave him a bottle of milk and i sat him down in the after i changed his diaper and all that i sat him down in his playpen so he could drink his milk and watch some tv and then like not even 10 minutes after he drank his bottle of milk everything came right back up and I mean it was legit thick like sliced like mozzarella cheese that's how thick it was it was so bad <sighs> but yeah oh and I'm not I'm gonna end up getting the Sephora play box because I called them up and they were like well your card well they sent me an email saying my card was declined for some reason so I called him up and I gave him my other card number and I'm like, I don't know why it's saying it's declined. So I gave them my other card number and then she was like, um, do you have a different address that you live at or something? And I'm like, no, this is my house. This is where everything comes to. I'm like, um, my bank statements and everything come to this address. It's my house. <laughs> and she's like, well, we can't find your address. We can't find your address it was saying something like the address wasn't applicable or something like that and how she she couldn't find the address for it to ship to my house I'm like how can you not find my address and she's I'm like well can I like set it up with my name and everything but just use like a different email address or even like my mom's address and she's like no well since you already have it set up in your email and everything and it has to be the email um, the address that you get your your billing address so I'm like well um, what am I gonna do then she's like well you can always call back um, when you figure this out with your bank or just not get it and I'm like well I'm not gonna do I'm not I'm not dealing with that, all that right now I'm like I'm, I'm not dealing with it right now so I don't know but yeah um, my husband went and got me my Mother's Day gift which was the Lush um, box set like I said if you want to see an unboxing I'll probably post it any which way um, when I open it but I haven't opened it yet I know what's in it. It's a bunch of bath bombs, but yeah, I didn't open it yet. Ah oh, man, laundry, laundry, laundry. Oh how I love laundry. 
And this is like all of our clothes together. This is like my son's clothes, my husband's clothes, my clothes. I mean, though most of it's like sweatpants, t-shirts, and like um, PJs for me, but my son's t-shirts and all that, the little onesies. Can't believe he's already fitting 24 month clothing. 24 month clothing. And he's not even 18 months yet. Well, actually, he turned 18 months yesterday. Yeah, yesterday <laughs> on the 3rd. He turned 18 months. He's a year and a half old. Wow. Yep. I want another one so bad. My husband's like, no. We are going to wait for like 10 years and then have another one. And I'm like, no. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? I need another one like now. I need one like yesterday. I know, I'm bad. <laughs> it's just, it's difficult with me being diabetic and getting pregnant and all that. I had so much trouble with my son now when I was pregnant. Yeah, that was, that's one, actually one of the first videos I made for my YouTube was my story of my pregnancy and like labor and delivery with him and even like the following week after and I could never put it up because <laughs> I like cried through the whole video so I'm like uh maybe I'll just redo this video and yeah I'll just redo it but I haven't redone it yet I don't know I just anytime I think about it I just like start bawling my eyes out so as you can see it's starting to dry like just these patches but watch right like right through here see it like cracking right here that's because it's almost oh uh, yeah it's almost there it's almost time for it to come off yeah all right i'll take you guys over there then see that's pretty quick it's a pretty good mask um it's not too thick of a layer not too thin of a layer. It's just the seaweed. <sighs> yes, but it does leave my face feeling so good. So I recommend if you do can find it, get it. Because it is it's pretty good. And it's a clay mask and I have yet to break out like the other one did. I have no idea what was in there, but I'm going to run some water and then I'll be back. Okay? Alright, so I got some pretty steam in water. I'm just going to slightly wet it. I'm going to just rub it in now so all the seaweed and those, I guess those bits of almond and stuff that are in there can actually rub in and exfoliate with it. Freaking hair. My hair is worse because with my diabetes I also have thyroid problems so my hair falls like, like crazy, you don't even want to know. Like I could probably make a wig out of all the hair that falls. So this is like regrowth of like my hair growing back from it falling. See, and these are like not like little itty bitty pieces of seaweed. These things are freaking huge. That's a big piece of seaweed. So I would um, say this is like the Glam Glow one, except of course this is preservative free, it's all natural, fresh, like they chop it up, put it in a thing, and then they ship it out right when they're done making it, and it has to be refrigerated so it stays nice and fresh. Now this being red like this is just for me rubbing it. I'm not agitating my skin, but it's not like the last mask I did. Yeah, that was bad. I want to try that DIY charcoal 
face mask thing with the uh, glue. I'd be fine with glue on my face. All right, I'm going to finish taking all of this off. Because I probably look a hot mess right now. All right, let me take it off. Okay, so this is after. As you can see, I'm not red. I'm not breaking out in any type of red patches or anything like that. Um, my skin is very soft. Don't mind these little boogers that are coming out. This one is in my hairline and it's just so bad. I hate them when they get stuck in my hairline. That's where I usually break out around my hair. I don't know where that one came from, but whatever. Um, look at that natural highlight. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, my face is nice and clean. My nose is nice and clean. But like I said, I want to try that DIY charcoal mask. You can see my son's portrait right there. And me pointing at my face in the mirror. <laughs> but yeah, um, I want to try that DIY and see because my nose, I don't know if you can tell. But my nose has a lot of really tiny pores and even if I do like a steam steamer tab or a toner tab or something like that and try to open my pores it barely opens up what are you doing my doggies you say hi you say hi hi stitch yeah oh I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight we ate chicken last night and we ate spaghetti the other night. I don't know. I have no idea what I want. I might make pasteles. Mm -hmm. For all of you that don't know what pasteles are, they're like tamales, except the Puerto Rican version. Um, other people would think, oh, pastels for for um, dinner? That's, that's like cake in certain countries. Um, you have to be careful what you say. Because, like, for us, cake is bicocho, but in some places, that's, like, slang for, like, a curse word. So, you have to be careful in what you say in Spanish because there's different dialects and stuff. So, yeah. Not everything they teach you in books you can learn, okay? You gotta get your street smarts. This is rebatched hot process soap that I made because I made it cold process and it didn't want to set right and the oil separated so i had just like a big puddle mess instead of a nice cake so i had to put it in a crock pot and reheat it and basically cook it a hot process cook it and rebatch it and then pour it and make my little cake mm -hmm. and my son has um a small little sliver it's like this and he's already used it up. It's his bath um, bath one. And I just busted out a coconut one for me. And I made some beautiful sugar scrubs. And these are lemon lime scented. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing people at my church where my parents are pastors at. If they like them, then they'll buy them. And I'm giving a little bit of donation to the church back from it. And then I'm going to keep the rest so that I can make more. And then if they like it and they want to repurchase, like the um, scrubs. Just checking on him. Like the scrubs that come in the little jar. I'm going to put it, if they use it all up and they want me to remake them, um, remake them that same scrub. Or if they want a different scrub but they want a scrub and they bring that back to me. I'll just charge them half off. So, you know, it's a good deal. Come on, Stitch. Come on, baby. She's like, no, it's wet and it's raining outside. I don't think so. It's been storming all week. All week. It's been thunderstorming at night. I have my poor plants. See if you can see them. They're in this little potter thing right there. Right there. And then the cups right there. And then those I bought already planted and everything. But they're in like little cedars because those are little potter things. Because 
Those are the ones that I actually had seeds for that I want it to grow. I have some flower, tomato, which are already starting to sprout, um, spaghetti squash, and melon, I think. Some melon. Yeah. I cleaned this table off, and my husband put all his tools on it. Look. It was nice and clean, and look. I have nails and drills and... This is cleaner because I was cleaning the carpet. But I just have, look, I have his hat, his bag, his little toolkit thing. I'm like, I can never have anything clean. He goes and destroys it all. So I'm going to finish folding and then I will come back on here when something else happens. Like when Stinkbutt wakes up. But yes, I do like this mask. Ooh, what is that? I think that's just my skin being white or something but see as I said I don't get red patches or anything I'm just breaking out really bad for some reason I might have like I'm, it might be because I was eating a little bit too much grease this week fast food it's the devil um but yeah I've been breaking out um but otherwise other than that my skin is really soft and I really like this mask so yeah, I got a good thumbs up from it. I've been using it quite a bit too, so. And it doesn't leave me feeling dry or anything. I feel nice and soft and moisturized and everything, so. Yep. That's good. So, yeah, let me finish folding and stuff, and then when something happens, I'll bring you back in. Oh, okay. baby. <laughs> He took about an hour and a half nap, but he's not having it. He's crying and all cranky. You want to watch Minky? He keeps twisting. I'll add the little clip I put on Snapchat. Yeah, baby, not doing good. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mouse. That's goofy. Goofy, you okay, baby? Mm, he's not feeling good, not at all. So this was clean, just like I said. I shed in the shower so bad, so bad. Yeah, time to clean up. So out of my shower, I just cleaned everything off, put some PJs on. This is the ones that I got, and they got little pockets. Dollar ninety nine at Sears. Um, what I used was my L'Oreal stream oil shampoo and conditioner and then i got another sample of wash that man right out of my hair from lush and that's what i used oh there's a little bit on the bottle it smells so good i don't know what they put in it but it smells so good yeah my hair's up it's a mess but yeah so hubby came home we had dinner we got um he got wendy's for us to eat i got their barbecue chicken salad and um he bought our son another playpen a play yard a pack and play whatever you want to call it um because the one that he had of course he threw up in it this morning and nobody wants to clean it because i mean it's like legit like cheese in there like it's thick like i couldn't even pick it up with wipes and stuff like it's in there and also he broke it. I don't know how my son broke it, but he broke the bottom of it, like the boards, like he snapped it in half. So my husband said, tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit better outside, so we'll just clean it tomorrow and then we'll just have it for an outside play, play yard thing. And he can just use it to play in. Um, but yeah, we got him a, he got him a little cheap one. It's like 40 something bucks, 50 bucks. It's not that cheap, but it'll do its job so yeah so that's about it for today I put all the laundry away um yeah we're just gonna watch some TV I live a very boring life I know stay-at-home mom so what else can I say <laughs> but yeah um 
that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Maybe later tonight. I don't know. Bye, guys. So there's his new pack and play. Um, Hi, baby. He feels a little bit better today. Yeah. He's a little elephant. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is really cute. It's got little circus stuff on it. It's really, really cute. Yeah. I said, I look a hot mess, so I'm not going on camera. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Say yay, Mickey Mouse. Bye, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.